In today's video, I'm going to go over another one of the setups that we did actually find in the breakout session today. And it's one that I'm stalking because it hasn't triggered an entry yet. This is a daily chart of Ulta. You can see here. And the general pattern is higher highs and higher lows. Prices above the 200 and the 50 as far as the simple moving averages. And we're pulling back into some support where there's some symmetry with some of these prior declines over on the left left hand side of the chart so the zone that i'm focused on as far as looking for a buy entry uh, 291 14 to 294 78 as long as we hold above that general zone i will look for buy triggers for an entry now shorter term traders might use some shorter term five minute charts or something like that to suggest an entry that's okay if you're just day trading but if you're swing trading then the aggressive swing trade entry trigger is typically the 15 minute chart and the not so aggressive one is the 30 minute chart so if we look at that let's see we've got a 15 minute chart here and even though it is testing support there is absolutely no buy trigger yet what i need to see is the 834 ema crossover to the upside along with taking out a prior swing high if that occurs you can look at an entry and then define your risk underneath that last low or underneath the zone. As far as the 30 minute chart, again, we'd be looking for the same thing. Uh, you tend to have less um, stop outs if you use the 30 minute chart, but you definitely have to wait longer before you get the entry if you uh, use the 30 minute chart. So, you know, just depends on uh, how aggressive you want to be with some of these setups. But bottom line, if we hold above here, then great. I'm going to look to take my buy triggers that I don't see any of just yet. Uh, the potential on the upside is going to be this 320 area. And I will consider myself dead wrong on this setup if we break, let's say, a buck underneath the low end of this zone, so underneath this 291.14.